Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is the new Cosmic desktop environment, taking a look at the blog post announcing it. And what I did was I went ahead and actually installed what is currently available of Cosmic, just so we can kind of see how the progress is going thus far. And that's one of the reasons why this looks a little glitchy and we have some broken icons and things won't really look too right because this is just announced and it won't be released until June as it will be coming out with the Pop OS 21.04. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see what it's going to be. First, what is Cosmic? Basically what they did is they honed in the desktop experience exactly how they want it and they're using the GNOME base to make their very own desktop environment. And they're still working on everything, finalizing the designs, but ultimately the default is gonna be using their pop shell tiling layout. And up here you see we have workspaces and applications in two separate little menus up here on the top, so that is part of it. As you can see right here, they went ahead and separated that out, and that should make actually navigating the system much more fluid. Uh, they're changing around the super key in this current version, uh, it just does the traditional GNOME thing that you'd expect, but they are coming out with their own application launcher when you hit the super key. So instead of getting this traditional GNOME look, it looks a little bit kind of like U launcher, which would be very impressive if they went ahead and added something like that. Now a dock, you can see the dock here I have installed on the bottom. Now if I go ahead and go over to my workspaces, I actually have GNOME themes opened up in this workspace. Well not GNOME themes, the uh, extensions. And you can see here I have Pop Cosmic and the Ubuntu dock. Now they're forked to the Ubuntu dock project. So if I go up over here to this workspace, this was me kind of trying to get everything to work. I got everything to work to the best of my abilities, but you can see over here, this is the Pop OS Cosmic GitHub page. The last update was six months ago, but you could see three months ago, they released the README the licenses and all that. So this has been in the planning phase for some time. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out real quick so we can see this a little bit better. If I go over to the Pop OS GitHub page, you can see right here, GNOME shell extension dock. And this is the Pop OS fork of this dock that they're gonna be using as their official dock in their desktop environment. But you can see if you go down here to the readme file, they haven't really even edited it yet. So it still has all the information from the source, which is just the uh, dashed dock. So let's go ahead, go back up to our workspaces and jump over to the blog that they put forward, which goes over kind of what we just talked about. They're adding the dash to dock dash panel into their desktop environment by default, and they will have some pretty good options. You can see here within their settings panel, you're actually gonna be able to go to desktop and customize your dock in there. At the moment, because they just forked it over, if you go under the GNOME tweaks, or I mean the GNOME extensions, you could go over to Ubuntu dock hit settings and you do have some settings here, but like the uh, theming isn't working right. Cause you can see if I go over to appearance, it just doesn't work. Position and size is where you go ahead and move this around, but it is gonna be nice when they actually add this within the actual system settings. That's gonna be super cool. And then if we go down here, it talks a little bit about the mouse driven and keyboard driven interfaces. That's basically talking about their current tiling option within their pop shell. So that will be an included part of their desktop environment. So basically they're adding a bunch of really cool stuff here coming up and they've tweaked GNOME just enough where they could actually call it their own thing. So I'm really looking forward to this release. And like I said, I did kind of get what they've released so far working at least as far as the uh, shell here with the workspaces and application split. So we could jump in between all our different workspaces here. If you click on applications, you have your applications. So it separates those menus. So if I have this workspace open, I could switch over to applications, open something up and it will open up in the workspace I was highlighting. So if I go over workspace, I highlighted this one and I wanted to open the calendar in this workspace it would go ahead and do that. So with all that said, I am incredibly excited to see the progress Pop OS makes towards this. If you're interested in trying this out, as you can tell, it's basically not ready, but you could go ahead and build it from source using just uh, pulling the GitHub repository for the, where is it, Cosmic right here, and then just making it and life should be good. You go in, enable the extension and uh, you have Cosmic, basically. Granted, if you want the proper experience, we all should probably wait until the actual release in June. Again, looking forward to it. There'll be a link to this right here in the description if you want to go check out their blog post on it. But with that said, if you did enjoy this first look, please let me know in the comments down below or like this video if you hated it. 
dislike it, subscribe for more content like this, and make sure you ring that bell so you do not miss any of my future uploads. Again, have a beautiful day and goodbye.